got uh, four games to uh, to get to the to get to the playoffs. How is how do you look at that with the, with only four games to play uh, to determine whether you're gonna and, and if you're gonna make the playoffs and if you do where you're gonna be seated? You know, when I was in Alabama, we fought it. We you know I was in this situation of light up until 2000. Um, Alabama, he was playing what they called area play, which nobody liked. Uh, they went to area play in 1984, and it stayed that way until night, till, till, till through the 99 season, and then we went back into region play like Georgia. Well, that's where it ought to be. You ought to have region play. And so here we've done what we've done in this state is everybody's got region play but us. Uh, only you know five teams in our region, and you know it's really tough. I think. I think here we are. We've played seven ball games and hadn't played a game that has anything to do with state playoff standings or, or seeding or anything. And you know, so <clears throat> if you're asking me if I'm an advocate of it, no, I'm not. I, I just think that it could have been handled better and and should have been thought out with a with a with a better process and and. Uh, you know, we'll leave it at that. I think everybody sort of knows what happened uh, with the Warner Robins situation, but uh, we'll take it as it is. And and for us, we got to go win. I mean, you know, that's at the end of the day. You, you it's what it is. You now you got to go play, and all these games count for an awful lot because financially, it really really helps your athletic program if you're in the playoffs. I mean, really, you got you got some extra revenue coming in that you wouldn't have coming in, and that's why football playoffs are so important because it's extra revenue. Winning is is the sort of the icing on the cake, but the meat of that cake is obviously the financial revenue that it gives to your football programs and every other program. So we're playing for that, and then we're playing for our, our goal. Our goal is what you've seen in our locker room is on December 11th, they're going to crown a state champion at the Georgia Dome, um, and they're going to give it to somebody. You know? And I think that somebody needs to be a team that's playing really well come October and November and then early December. So um, I don't know how much it's got to do with what you've already done. You know, there'll be some teams that come in at 6-0, and 5-0, and some teams at 4-1, and one, some teams like us at 3-3. Three and three. Really, everything starts next Friday at, at, at Tift. And, um, but for us, we start two games in, on the road. And in this region, it's like the SEC of football, I mean, of high school football. It's tough. I don't care who. You play in this region when you're on the road. I don't care. It's tough, and we got to go over to Tiff and play, and it'll be a war. Uh, they actually open this Friday with coffee at in Douglas, and and then us, and then obviously we've got uh, coffee and and Valdosta at the end of the year, and then Lounge right after that. So it's four tough ball games. Uh, a win, chances are, get you in. Unless there's a three-way tie of one and three, then you'd go back to some tiebreakers, and I don't like our tiebreakers. So, for us, um, you know, we let we at least want to come out here at two and two, you know. But I would like to come out of it four and zero. Oh, obviously, everybody, our goal is four and zero oh and host all our playoff games at the house. But you know, realistically, if we come out here at three and one and host a playoff game, I think we've had a pretty dang good year. And uh, and then because when you get in the playoffs. You know, it's each and Friday and every Friday night. It's going to be a tough opponent, just like y'all saw last year, and we're looking forward to it.